I'm Patrick Melker, co-owner of Leather by Dragonfly with my wife Michelle, and today we're in my wood shop. As woodworkers, DIYers, and makers, we need to have good light so that we can see what we're working on and with our projects. In this video, I want to show you the LED package that American Green Light put together for me. I work in a garage shop that is 20 feet long, 22 feet wide, and I have an eight and a half foot ceiling. And the wall behind me is the west wall. And on this ceiling, I had two eight foot T8 fluorescent light fixtures. And on the wall behind the camera, the east wall, I had the same, two T8 eight foot light fixtures. And they gave me good light uh, to do work, I guess. I didn't know any better. Um, but the biggest thing that it did for me that I did not like was I cast shadows on the work that I was cre working on or creating, whether it be from the machine or from me onto the workpiece. So why am I producing this video? Why did I replace my lights? I saw two videos that convinced me that I needed to do this. One was by Jay Bates from Jay's Custom Creations and the other was from Jason Bent from Bent's Woodworkings. And I was fortunate enough to visit his shop and to see his light package that he has in his garage shop. And it is phenomenal. I was blown away. And the gauge that I use uh, to see the correctness of it is the T-lock on the Festal Sustainers. That green just pops. It's a did in his shop and it does in mine right now. It is fantastic. So with that being said, in the description below, I have a 10% discount code with the keyword of Dragonfly, all lowercase. So looking at American Green Lights reviews, I had no knowledge of lighting. All I knew how to do was turn it on and turn it off. You know, that's all that worked for me. And I knew I had the problem with the shadows. So those are my concerns. Um, as a woodworker, I wanted everything to be color correct. Whether I was working that on uh, purple heart or maple or walnut, the deep rich colors, and also the skin tones, not too warm and not too cold for photography and videos. American Greenlight educated me on color temperature and the color rendering index or CRI. The LED color you see right on here today on my LEDs are 5000 Kelvin. And that's important because that's the light that you see at noon on a clear blue sky. And the other is color rendering index or CRI. Color rendering index is the measurement of colors and how they look under a light source when compared to the sun. And it's measured under a percentage. And the color rendering index of these LEDs is 95%. So it's really close to the sun. American Greenlight asked me to provide some sketches of my shop and of some of the tools that I had, my table saw, my workbench, my bandsaw, the garage door, the garage door motor, and the tracks. I have a man door behind me and also a attic access. So they gave me these drawings, they gave me instructions on how to lay out the lights, and it gave me an idea of what the color or what the light would be on all the work surfaces in candlelight. So this gave me just how bright my shop would be. From the drawings that American Greenlight gave me, I was able to set up a story stick that told me how far off each of the walls and in between each of the light fixtures. I only had to modify it slightly um, since after getting back the instructions from American Greenlight, I actually moved this, the attic access from where it was over to behind me right here. And all I had to do was move one of the light bars about six or eight inches off of center from where it was supposed to be. Other than that, it was perfect. So I placed all the LEDs according to the drawings. I ran a bus in the attic. These LEDs are driven from drivers. So these first eight LEDs are on one driver. The next eight LEDs are on a th second driver. And the last four in front of the garage door are on a third driver. And even in the packaging, they were so thoughtful that they even marked the LEDs and the one driver with the four so that I couldn't get them mixed up. I tried two methods of running the wires with that bus. One was with the sheath cable and one was with the lamp cord. And I can tell you right now, from my experience, running it with the lamp cord or 3M vampire clips was the way to go. Thank you for watching the video from American Green Lights. There's a discount code in the description, 10% off with the keyword dragonfly, all lowercase. Thank you very much.